trading session, we did see that the premium on the Nifty futures did contract from around 25 points all the way to around 13 points. Mangalam joins us to run us through all the queues that are coming in from there, given that it's expiry week. And it's a big week, Mangalam. What say? Absolutely, it is a big week. It's the expiry week, last week of 2018. At the same time, it is a truncated week, so a lot of volatility expected. And like you pointed out, the Nifty Futures premium came down after a near 200-point decline on the Nifty. Interestingly, if you take a look at the cash market flows, the FIIs, well, they bought about 134 crores, and the domestic institutional investors sold about 500 crores. The FII gross volumes, they stand out. I know you and I track this data pretty closely. Close to about 6,000, 6,500 crores in terms of cross volumes uh, uh, put in by the FIIs. Looks like maybe they're rolling over their positions early or there is some sort of reshuffle that is taking place out there. As far as the index future space is concerned, yes, the premium came off. That's telling you perhaps there was some selling and that is what it was. At the end of the day, we got the data. FII sold about 316 crores in index futures. Nearly 5,100 short contracts added. This compares with about 2,100 long contracts added in index futures. And maybe the 2,100 long contracts that were added were on a Account of expiry. The big data point, however, was index options. Close to around 1,600 crore worth purchase out there. And remember, when the market goes up, we tell uh, the viewers that, you know, maybe it's the short call people who are covering their positions, which is taking the markets higher. And the, an exact reverse of that took place on Friday's trading session. There were puts bought, and at the same time, those guys who had written the puts, they were unwinding their positions. That took the markets further lower. However, there are a couple of positive points that we're working with, despite the weakness that we're seeing in the globe. One, Brent crude prices, they are sub $54 per barrel and the nifty put call ratio data that we closely track 1.66 1.7 is where the overheated zone becomes that one is corrected to about 1.3 and at the same time we're seeing some bit of writing at the 11,000 call 10,900 call 10,800 call as well let's see on the way up if at all there could be some short covering or not important to see whether we break the 200 day moving average on the upside or not okay yes absolutely Manglam. so the 200 day d uh, day moving average would be the most important to track but let's Let's move on and get to our bullseye corner for the week. This week we have our contestants Vishal Malkan, Himanshu Gupta and Jay Thakkar who are battling it out for the strongest portfolio. Let's listen in to their picks for day one. Reliance Infra buy with a stop of 302 for targets of 328. Reliance Capital buy with a stop of 215 for targets of 245. DLF buy with a stop of 184 for targets of 198. And JSW Steel buy with a stop of 303 for targets of 340. First sell recommendation is on Bharat Finance. One can sell Bharat Finance for a target of 966 with a stop loss of 1022. The second sell recommendation is on DV Labs. One can sell DV Labs for a target of 1423 with a stop loss of 1502. The third sell recommendation is on United Spirits. One can sell United Spirits for a target of 598 with a stop loss of 634. And a final sell recommendation is on Vokart Pharma. One can sell Vokart Pharma for a target of 486 with a stop loss of 518. Then Himanshu Gupta's first pick for the day is a sell call on Senshi Textiles. He has a target placed at around 878. Stop loss he's placing at around 932. His second pick is a buy call on CG Pa, target of around 46 and a half rupees, and stop loss at around 40. His third call is a sell call on Divi's laboratory, target at around 1420. Stop loss at 1,505. And the last pick is also a sell call on Repco Home with a target of 372. Stop loss placed at around 400. Well, on that note, we'll wrap up on Power Breakfast. You stay with us. Bazaar, Bazaar Morning Call comes up next. This little...